Okay, question four. <clears throat> um, here, Ben is planning uh, to make some blocks for a child. The diagram shows 3D shapes. Write down the, the shape, the name of the shape C, so this one here. Well, it's like a, a gas cylinder that you'd have for the barbecue, or you see cylinders in cars. It's called a cylinder. Write down the number of edges of shape D. So we're interested in shape D. Now an edge, okay, be careful here. I'm just going to highlight something before we do it. I want to point out the difference. That is a corner, this thing here. And that's got a name, a vertex or a corner. So it's not those that we're counting. It's edges. Edges is, a, is um, something like that, an edge along, along the side. So let's count the edges. Maybe I'll colour it as we go along. There's one edge there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's nine edges here. So you can think of an edge as if you were tracing out the lines that would make the outside of the shape uh, when you're counting them. Write down the letters of all the 3D shapes that have five faces. Now a face, something like that. A face is a flat side like that, okay? So which ones have five uh, sides or five faces? Well, this one here has one here and one at the back. One here is three, one here is four, and this slanted one here would be five. So D is certainly one of them. Now, A isn't because it it has pairs of sides. It has one here and one at the back, that would be two, two. one here and one at the side, that would be four, and one at the top and one at the bottom would be six, so it's not that. And B's the same. B or B's are a, a cuboid and A is a cube, so they, they both have six, so it can't be them. C has one at the top, one at the bottom, and a curved one all around, so it's got three, so it can't be that. And lastly, it must be this here. This has one here, one on this side, one at the back, one at the front is four, and one at the bottom, so it's five. So it must be D and E for that. Okay, next, Ben is going to make one of the boxes, the 3D uh, shape B. So he's gonna make B. The 3D shape is to be four centimeters high, five centimeters wide, and six centimeters long. In the space below, draw an accurate net of the shape B. Now, just before I do this, I'm going to actually just draw the thing out in 3D to make it easy. <clears throat> It'll be five centimeters wide, we're told. Okay, it's going to be four centimeters high, and it's going to be six centimeters long, like that. Okay, so I'm going to label those. I said five centimeters wide, four centimeters, and six centimeters long. Now, a net of a cuboid is. <clears throat> If you folded out all the faces so they were flat on the table, okay, what would it look like? So let's draw that. The first thing we'd have, and maybe the easiest way to draw the net is to think of it like that. We'd have the flat cube on the bottom and it would look, it would be five across and six back. So something like Something like that. Yeah? So it would be five across and six back. And we'll have done the bottom there, this one here. Now if I folded this out, can you imagine folding that side out? That side has the side of six, but has a height of four. So this here would be like that. The same would be on the other side. So this here would be four. Actually, I'll just label those in to make our life a bit easier. And you can see if I folded this top out, it would be five across and four um, high. So this would be like that. Okay. So that there again is four. And that's four. Now, the only thing we're missing is a lid on the box. So the box must have a lid, so if the lid's going to be on one of these sides, either here or here, so it folds on the top. It could even be on one of these sides here. So the lid must fit exactly uh, over the base, so you'd have a lid 
like there, and that will be your net of that shape. Okay, then it says for part two, it says find the length and width of the smallest rectangle of card needed for the net. Okay, so I'm imagining a, sh a sheet of paper that I could use to cut this out, to draw this on and cut this out. So let's draw that sheet of paper. The sheet of paper would look something like that, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm actually going to colour that in, uh, a light colour, just, um, just to show you um, what I mean by that. That would be the sheet of paper there. So if I take that away, I want a sheet of paper that would perfectly fit that. Well, we can see uh, what this must be. The height of it is going to be four from here. It's going to be six from here, and it's going to be four from here. So this uh, length of it, as you as you might say, is going to be fourteen. Okay, so the length is uh, is going to be fourteen centimeters. And let's go for the width, as I say. So this one's four. This width here is five. This width here, this little bit here, is another four, and this bit here is the same as this shape here, so it's five. And that must be um, 18 centimetres again. And we're done for that question.